brothers and sisters, comrades and friends. My name's Cuba Libre, and I am hitting you back here with some Let's Play synchronized with the title screen. Mark of the Ninja. And let's jump right into Stage 5, The Fall of Hessian Tower. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall hard. <clears throat> Upgrades, not a lot to buy right now. I don't really use noisemakers. There's a new distraction item called a distraction flare, which I also don't use that much. Although I probably should in at least some of these. Um, this one new style. It's called Path of the Hunter. You know, I thought I would talk about it here, but I think I'm just going to do a separate video where I go over all the styles that you unlock, because I don't end up using any of them, so it'll be a little... Gay Den video. All troops report. I want that fire dealt with now. I knew they'd overreact. Now's our chance. Let's go. Okay. So here are the seals. Go find Karja. I'll we stay got, here and make sure no one comes back in. <clears throat> we gotta terrorize a guard by hanging another guard. Should be easy enough at some point. And we have to not break any lights and not raise the alarm, which is a typical one. Um, which we wouldn't do anyway. Not breaking any lights is... Um, I guess it's slightly easier in this level just because they planned for it, but... Um, interesting to note, while the game does have a, you know, no kills play style, you can't get all the seals, uh, playing that way, playing the ghost, no kills, whatever, uh, because some of the optional seals require you to kill people. <laughs> so. Look at the tracking device. Karajan is on the move. We need to catch him, and quickly. The fire won't distract his guards forever. That's one way in which this game does favor uh, playing lethally. Ah, cleverly using the light switch. The guy's like, hey, the lights came on. And killed. A lone guard is a dead guard. That's how we play. Some bonus points. Pretty standard stuff by now. Although it's it's tough to say by now. Uh, the way I make these videos is <clears throat> I record them by playing the game. Then later on I will actually edit the video together. And then later on after that, I'll add the commentary. So usually at any point I have, like, I'm a couple videos ahead in terms of gameplay. I'm one video ahead in terms of video edited together. And then I'm on the current video recording the post-commentary. So I don't actually always know exactly what I've said already. Or, uh... What I've, you know, what I've described and, and how much you've seen, because I'm a few levels ahead in my actual playing of the game. Challenge room. This one's really easy. <clears throat> like really easy. <laughs> Once again, it's another one of those things where you just sort of you do what you can, and it ends up being what you should. I do think they really missed an opportunity with these challenge rooms. Um, the game is certainly robust enough that you could make some really cool um, platforming challenges. You know, you grappling all over the place and running on walls and whatever. I mean, that stuff is cool. Um, but they're all just way too linear, basically. I mean, they. 
as I've said in some of my other videos, where I talk more about exploratory platformers. Uh, again, I don't think this needs to be exploratory per se, but <clears throat> there are there ought to be more red herrings. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Things you can do that you don't need to do. Um, I mean, that would make the challenge rooms just more challenging, which is what they're supposed to be about. So you can't push the block all the way because then it covers up the scroll. So you have to leave it on the pad to stop the laser. Simple enough. A bamboo stalk bends beneath a foot that's in flight from a crimson. Now this is an interesting dilemma that it takes me a little while to figure out. <clears throat> there's a motion sensor right there, and it's not going anywhere, and there seems to be no way around it. If I could get a corpse, I could drag it through. Um, so even though I've played this before and I've obviously done it, I was like, is that power box for the... no. The power box is not for the... Um, so I'm... <clears throat> The first thing I do is just experiment and say, maybe you can just move slowly like that. And no, that doesn't work. <laughs> so, I've edited it out a couple more times of me not knowing what the heck to do. I do eventually figure it out. This light switch, I'm like, I wonder what this light switch, uh, turns on the lights and off the motion sensors, which is an interesting idea for a light. And I got my... That seal completely inadvertently. This guy shoots out the lights for me. It's very oh, nice of him. No, oh God, no. And now I can pick him off at my leisure. That actually worked out amazingly well. <laughs> you fools, let that building burn. Let the all burn. You are here to protect me. Never mind the fire. We need to the tower. Karajan doesn't care about the fire. What a cruel, cruel man. He'll leave his men to burn. Of course, they're all dead, because I literally kill every guy every time, but whatever. We'll, come off. we'll have to find another way to get to Karajan. You might have noticed a cut there. There might have been a cut there, because I might have tried to be too greedy with these guys and not taking my time. Really, most of my mistakes are of that variety. If I just take my time, I can almost always do things the first time through, but I try to be too slick, try to get too many terrorizations or whatever, and it ends up uh, screwing me. <laughs> but I just take my time this time. And it works fine. I think I even do get a, a nice little terrorization at the end. It's always better to try and terrorize guys when there's multiple of them because they'll only shoot each other, which is great. But even if you just get the little 300 point bonus for the last guy alive, <clears throat> better than nothing. Hey, buddy, you okay? Oh, oh. I'm hoping he will walk backwards, which sometimes they do, so I can hangman's hit him, 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 hangman's hit him, 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 him. But he doesn't, he walks the other way, so whatever. Now, honestly, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do if you're doing a stealth run. I guess you just have to wait for the guy to walk through the laser himself. I used to not even care, but now I, I believe I'm going to do a ghost run after, uh, I'm done with this one. I mean, not immediately. I'll probably do some other games first, but eventually. And, uh... So now I'm evaluating as I go through. Like, how would you do this without killing anybody? That's interesting. Oh, I got a baby with hiccups here. Hey, hiccup baby. He just gets him randomly. So weird. What a weirdo. Little weirdo guy. Little weirdo. Anyways, uh, let's 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 kill more people. That's a good thing for my nascent son to watch. He'll learn the, the ways of the ninja. The pa 
Ah, the ninjutsu. Again, I have more seals, still nothing to buy, really. Might as well just save them for more worthwhile things when they get unlocked. I frankly have no idea when things are unlocked. I don't think it's related to how many seals you have. I think it's just certain levels, certain things get unlocked, like as you complete the game. Ooh! That is that I might be my first Twilight Gate kill. That is extremely useful. Stairs. Looks like I want to go around to get above the elevator. Uh, that is extremely useful when it's useful, I guess. It's, it's not very often the guys are right by a door like that, but when they are, it's awesome to be able to reach through and automatically close the door. Um, stealth kills occupy this little area where, during the like little slowdown animation thing, you're basically invisible, so you can, well, sort of, <laughs> you can uh, take people away very, very quickly. It's a little mission impossible for you. Dangle down, follow the laser down. That's how you grab the scroll. Ravens vanish as flames lick the roof. Ashes will smother a name. That little maneuver is easier if you have uh, smoke bombs, which I do. You could just block the laser and walk down. But I want to try to do without it, and it worked. And that is a lot easier if you just dangle from that first grapple point. You don't have to risk jumping and falling. But I was too stupid to figure that one out, so there you go. Just dumb. Just plain too dumb. would put pulsing lasers that people could walk through in their impregnable castle? I don't know. This guy Karajan, I guess. So now what's the plan? Hold him off while I leave. Yes, you die sir. and I live. That's the plan. Well, my friend, you chose the fight. That's right. I also chose to fucking kill you. This is one thing I really appreciate about this game. The quote-unquote bosses are not superhumans with, like, crazy skills and you have to fight them face-to-face -face or some shit like that. They're just regular old people and they'll die to the s with the sword to the face just like everyone else. They're, they're just harder to get to and they're more protected, but they're not any more or less... Um, powerful than a regular enemy. And that's awesome. To me, I think a, a truly mature and sophisticated oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, dedicated stealth game has that property. Um, if your game has wacky bosses, then it's not really a great stealth game. It might be a great something else. And it might have stealth elements, but it, it's not really a great just game about stealth. So on the one hand, you've got, say, Thief or Hitman. Those are games that are really about creeping around and being unseen. And those have, you know, one-hit kill, quote-unquote, bosses, if you will. I mean, Thief doesn't even really have bosses because you don't kill things, you just steal things. But it's even better, sort of. On the other hand, you've got something like, I don't know, Metal Gear Solid or uh, uh, Deus Ex 3, say. Games that have stealth elements, huh. and they're good games. I mean, Metal Gear is way better than Deus Ex 3, which is kind of a goofy game, but... Um, hey, I know you're here. Now that was awesome. Hey, target So, that's just... That's where you can see things going wrong. <laughs> I left that in there because I wanted you to see that uh, if you don't pay attention to... Well, actually, the most important thing is that sometimes guys look behind themselves like that, and uh, you really need to watch out for that. If you see them doing that, you can time it, like here, where I, where I timed it successfully. 
Oh, it's just a brutal train of death, but, uh... <laughs> and I'm like, should I drop those other bodies down? Ah, screw it. <laughs> I'll have plenty of points. At any rate, I, like, for instance, Metal Gear Solid 3 is, I think, a fantastic game, and it has a really cool stealth mechanic, but is it really a stealth game? No, it's too big for that. It's not really a... it's not focused as a stealth game. It's way too wonky and goofy and... Um, it's just too big. There's too many mechanics. Fight. The hand that feeds us today. Either way, we'll eat. Not too many mechanics to be a good game. Too many mechanics to call it just a stealth game. You know, they call it tactical espionage action for a reason. Not just stupid, because it's silly English, but because it's more than just sneaking. It's... It's a whole world in there. always locked down. No one gets through here alive. And I love MGS3. I do. But, uh... When I really just want to sneak, I prefer a game like Mark of the Ninja. Watch out. A sniper can end your life at just one shot. We'll need to find a way to block his scope. So a sniper is a new kind of enemy. You see they have that red laser. If that laser passes over you, it doesn't matter if you're in shadow or whatever. They'll automatically see you, and they will just automatically kill you, basically. Now here... I actually fuck up the stealth kill on purpose so I don't throw his body down to the grate. There'd be no way to get it back. And I need his body to get through that laser. Oh, now we can lock his laser sight. That allows us to get down. And take the very conveniently placed uh, air vent around his back. Well, eventually, I think that's side first. And kill the hell out of them. Snipers are interesting enemies in that they, in, in a certain sense, they're harder than regular enemies because they just have this one vision cone where their laser points and that they'll absolutely kill you if you get in it. But on the other hand, they never move or look around. So if you can get behind them, they're just... They never patrol, they never glance behind themselves. So they're ultra-powerful in one direction and useless in every other direction. Anyways, this takes me a couple tries. It's sort of annoying, so you, the first thing you do is use the box to block the light so you can walk through without this guy seeing you. But when you take out the lights, he shines his flashlight around and it's very easy for him to see you. And it's kind of, the game is not exactly predictable in exactly how flashlights move around little corners. So one, I was hanging from the corner of the wall there. Sometimes you with the flashlight would see me, other times it wouldn't. It's not exactly consistent, so it just took a couple tries. Is that weak and not totally hardcore gamer of me? Yes. Who gives a shit? Not this guy. Come out, come out, little ninja. There's the man who led the assault against the clan. Now he's the only thing standing between us and Karajan. How quickly the serpent has become the mouse. Ninja. More like Nanja. But yeah, so you could just try and run in there and kill him, I guess. Although you'd probably have to do something to deal with the uh, the snipers first. But the game provides a very easy stealth kill way for you to do things. I mean, it's not easy. Kelly seems to think you'll face him like a glorious samurai. Guess he doesn't know much about ninja. Yeah, that's actually pretty funny. Yeah, I'm not gonna just come and, like, beat you up. This is not how... 
It's not how I've killed any single of the other one of your guys. Why would it be the way I would kill you? like Karjan got a reprieve. And so did you. Alright folks, all seals gotten. Karajan, henchman guy, dead. I don't know his name. Australian. Bad Australian accent guy. And that's it for this level. So, I will see you next time on Let's Play Mark of the Ninja. Peace out.